Aloha, and welcome to day six. I've got a lot of lights on because it's late, so it's a little bit different. I'm also wearing a special shirt for reasons which I'll tell you in a moment. <sighs> day six was pretty good. Um, uh, <sighs> I had more visions of like breadsticks and oily things today, but physically I'm feeling good. And I was actually surprised at how much energy I have, you know. People who do water cleanses, they often have this l latent period. I haven't done a water cleanse. Um, and then they start to have a bit more energy and manage it a bit more. I think even with the master cleanse, you get that even faster because you're giving yourself calories the entire time. Um, granted, um, it's been a long day, so I might trip over my words a little bit. Just me being vulnerable and authentic with you. Um, and also, I'm not going to do 10 takes of this. I need to go to sleep at some point. I have an early morning, hopefully. Um, so, what was the big thing? A couple of big things happened today, besides laundry, which is always exciting. Um, although this was already clean. Uh, I completely reorganized uh, uh, this room, my bedroom. Um, I'm not going to show you, because that's not what this series is about. I'm also not really ready to show you, but I fixed some rugs and did some things that needed to happen. Uh, it was it was a very good, sort of almost felt like spring cleaning. It just sort of snuck up on me. Um, I, I am wondering, and I would love to hear if people have similar experience with the master cleanse, you sort of get, it, it's almost like you're a little more open to being grabbed by the muse or grabbed by inspiration, and then you don't know what you're going to get done. Um, however, I had something that I I basically promised to myself that I would finish before the end of this month, uh, December of 2021, for those of you watching years from now. And that was, the, um, and this is this is going to be kind of funny because the cover will be different at some point, but I'm turning this into an audiobook. And I have been since May, May-ish, maybe June. Maybe June. It's been a blur. I think June. I think June. And um, this is part three of a three parts action memoir, totally true story about culture shock and running into lava. And it's a really, it's a, it's a, it's it's a personal growth story disguised as a travel memoir, but it's actually both. And uh, I've been really sweating this one. This turned out to be the longest of all three. Uh, the first audiobook was six hours, six and a half, six and a half, I think. The second one was a little under six. This one is seven and a half hours. Um, so that was a big breakthrough today. I actually finished editing the last chapter and the epilogue, a brand new epilogue, which is actually not in this edition. It's going to be in all the, the everything after the end of 2021 is going to have this new epilogue about what happened to Big Island in this big 2018 lava flow, which you can look up if you'd like. Pretty wild situation where like hundreds and hundreds, over 700 homes were destroyed in 2018 because of this lava flow. So it was pretty nuts. Um, so that feels really good. I'm really happy. I gotta tweak the EQ a little bit on it. There's like something around the. I think I've got it better. It's better now. Um, I have to export it out again tomorrow because I figured it. I figured out the EQ after I'd already exported out the whole seven and a half hours. Uh, that should only take about ten ish minutes to just go through. Do it. Um, anyway, master cleanse. Um, yeah, stick with it. As long as your body isn't complaining, as long as you don't feel intense pain, and I've been very lucky, I haven't really felt pain this entire time. Um, I felt kind of gurgly, but it's um, it's been it's been it's been it's been going, it's been going. And I I lie down. I had to take a I had to take a lie down, as they say in the UK. I had to take a lie down uh, this afternoon for like 20 minutes, just listening to a podcast, but. After that, I jumped back in, and I that was after I reorganized the room 
and fix the rug. You know, rugs are alive. They actually can move on their own accord, apparently, and they'll bunch up in weird places. Be careful about, about living rugs. Uh, so, so that's day six. Um, yeah. Aloha.